Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, welcome back to the shop. I've got a really interesting subject I wanted to talk about today and that uh, is really the quality of your light, uh, the ability for your light to help you grow uh, plants within your aquarium. I would say most uh, LED lights, you know, we talk about or you probably hear a lot about lumens and lumens is a, a great measure uh, when you want to understand the brightness uh, of that light, but uh, for that light to be able to uh, grow plants, uh, it needs to be able to provide enough PAR, uh, so that's photosynthetically active radiation, so that's the actual wavelength um, that is used in the photosynthetic process for your plants. Uh, and so essentially, you know, it's that level of PAR density that uh, will help you grow plants. And so it's not easy to, I would say, well, it, it is easy to measure. You just need uh, one of these uh, instruments. It's, uh, uh, I would say, not very cheap, but um, it's a, a PAR measure. So this is the Apogee uh, Instruments model MQ510. And it's pretty straightforward, at least, uh, in terms of, you know, when you get it. Um, I got this off of Amazon. Uh, it's uh, retails around like five hundred dollars or so, so it's not the um, most uh, cost-effective thing. But at least what you can do is you can use it, and, and uh, as long as you're careful with it, you can actually re return it. Um, but it is uh, so you basically get uh, this little contraption here. Uh, so this is your your um, your reader. Uh, this is your sensor. You'll put this component in the tank, uh, depending on the different placements within the tank itself, uh, the depth of the tank, and you'll get a sense of uh, that PAR uh, density or photo, photon, um, I think it's called photosynthetic photon flux density. Uh, try to say that 10 times fast. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll actually go to the tanks. Um, and again, I've always recommended Twinstar, and this is exactly why um, I recommend it uh, because of that light density and quality. Uh, so let's go ahead and check that out and see why uh, these lights are, are the right lights to use. All right, so we've got one of our display lights here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our PAR reader uh, just to show you uh, the amount of light that you're getting uh, at the surface, uh, in the middle, and at the bottom. So this is about a 20-inch uh, depth tank. Um, and so you'll kind of get a sense of, you know, around uh, a couple of inches from the light source itself all the way down to the substrate layer as to, um, you know, what you would expect from a uh, PAR measurement perspective, all right? All right, so we have our sensor with our uh, measuring component. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put this uh, into the tank to measure the PAR values of the Twinstar S series. So you can see like right above the tank, uh, it's about 540, so a huge amount of light. As you go down under underwater, it drops down to 293. So normally, you know, for your background plants, your Ritalas, your Ludwiglia, you know, you, you're going to need, um, you know, in the 40s, the 50s, uh, Ludwiglia, if you want to make sure that, you know, you get the, uh, the bright reds, you know, you'll, you'll need that in the 90s. Um, but, you know, in terms of the light itself, uh, you can see I'm getting a, a reading of about 180, 190 right in the center. Uh, as we shift back and forth from the tank, uh, you can see right in the front, middle, uh, 150 um, in the back as well you're probably uh, you're getting around uh, right now about 90 and I've got a little bit of um, obstruction with these plants but in general you know you're gonna get plenty of light with the this uh, twin star light now as I go deeper as I go deeper into the tank you'll see um, I'm getting about 100 in the middle 110 at the substrate level uh, layer. So this is about, again, 19, 20 inches. Uh, in the front, same thing, 100. So, um, you know, huge, right? Huge in terms of uh, the amount of lighting you get in the, all the way in the corner. Uh, same thing, around, you know, 100 or so. So, 
in terms of the the plants that you need, you know, Anubias, you know, your low light plants, Java fern, um, most of these plants uh, you're you're going to need around you know twenty to thirty um, par uh, uh, U moles. Um, the mid the mid medium medium to advanced plants uh, around forty to fifty. And then the carpeting plants like your dwarf baby tears and so on, and a Monte Carlo, you need upwards of 190, right? So again, it's it's one of those things where why I recommend a light like this is because you get uh, all of the necessary amount of par, um, the 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 U moles to grow any plant that you want. Um, so it's a it's a great option, um, one that you know again I highly recommend uh, and one where you know, if you're serious about um, growing plants and growing aquatic plants and wanting to create your own aquascape that, you know, definitely the way you want it, um, investing in a light like this uh, definitely helps. So what if, you know, you're a beginner um, and you don't want to uh, start out with some of the advanced plants, um, but you know, obviously you've got too much light in the tank at the moment. Um, as I mentioned, you know, this is one, even if you're a beginner, you should invest in a light like this. Um, and ultimately, what you're going to want to do is um, invest in a little uh, dimmer. Uh, so this is a one, you know, super cheap you can find on Amazon, uh, $10. Um, and you can reduce the light with the dimmer to kind of the specifications that you're looking for. Uh, from a plant perspective uh, so you know we let's measure that real quick uh, I can show you um, you know with that dimmer the amount of light then uh, that gets down to the to the bottom all right so you can see I've, I've dimmed the light a, a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and measure uh, measure the the par values again so again as I mentioned you know we were getting around 500 uh, now we're getting about 400 um, down in the surface level it's dropped down to like 190 um, all the way down into the mids to the 100s and then all the way down to the bottom um, you know we're getting around 80 um, 80 value, 73 away from the tank, 80s uh, away from the tank. Again, uh, so it's one one of those things where you can you know easily adjust your uh, par requirements based off of that dimmer, and you know you're still going to get you still have the option to increase the lighting as you uh, get to more advanced plants. You get CO2, but at the same time when you're beginning, definitely uh, you can use that dimmer. Uh, to go ahead and reduce the lighting slightly and so you don't have to deal with you know any of the algae potential al algae growth uh, in the tank itself so just to review uh, you know the twin star lights are you know essentially the best light that you can find you know at a reasonable at a reasonable price um, and even when you're a beginner you know definitely investing in a good quality light so you don't have to reinvest and buy another light in the future, uh, I think is a pretty good plan. I know most people in the hobby usually start out with, you know, some of the simpler plants, but, you know, as they really get into it and they want to create, you know, really elaborate and much nicer aquascapes, um, you know, having the option to be able to increase that light load without having to buy another light uh, is definitely one thing that, you know, is is a is a good idea i mean these lights last forever um so you know it's one of those things where this will be the last light um, that you'll ever need um you know in the beginning uh certainly uh you know buying a little led dimmer um again that's only a ten dollar option uh to do uh turning it that down to you know i had it at about you know, 80%, 75, it's gonna vary, you know, certainly by the dimmer, uh, but 80, 75%, you know, it was getting me at the par level to keep it at a beginner level. 
Uh, so definitely, um, you know, do that as the option until you increase and you get higher and more advanced uh, plants. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, one of those things where, you know, you're into the hobby, you're going to get your lights, you'll be able to grow uh, any aquatic plant that you want, uh, even at the beginning, all the way to the end, it'll be the last light that you'll ever buy. So I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, this video. Definitely keep watching for uh, new tips, tricks, um, you know, smash that like button, subscribe. Uh, and yeah, thanks for uh, joining me here at the shop.